What is up, my fellow nerds? We are back here at the Subsistence Alpha 59 update, and we are going to be doing some duping. So obviously you need Cheat Engine. The current version works. Um, I haven't updated it since Alpha 58, so I'm assuming it's just the same. The hardest part about this, again, is narrowing down what you're trying to do, okay? So, we are going to do the tomatoes I have here. Actually, we'll just do the 39 stack I have. So, first thing we want to do is we want to find the tomatoes. Let's try again. Alright, well that was quick. So now we have the 38 tomatoes that I have. Now to verify that is the correct amounts, we're going to put the one we split off back on. It should say 39. It does say 39. Alright, now here's the thing. It's, it's very difficult with this patch. You can technically set this at 40, which is max stack for tomatoes. You can lock it right here with this box. Then you can eat a bunch of them if so. But as soon as you exit your inventory, it wipes the stack. So I recommend not locking that. Anything with a 4-bit or 2-bit value, do not lock it. So to dupe it, what we have to do, now you can set it to whatever you want to. I'm just going to set it to um, 1004, and you'll see why. So when you look into the game, it shows a stack of 100. That's actually 1004 because the game can only show three, three places. So now what we're going to do is we're going to extract seed times 5. Now the reason why we did 1004 is because it should bring us down to 999. Now I have 999 tomatoes. If you were to dupe this any other way, when you move the stack, it will disappear. It is, you can obviously see it's not disappearing. Okay? I, and that is it for that. Now, to another one we're going to add into this is the decay rate. So this bar rate right here is 0 to 100. It's a percentage value. So this address we're looking for right here, this hex address right here, the offset, is everything is going to be the same that we're looking for except for the last three. The last three digits are going to be different. So if you're coming up with anything that's other than this address here, you will not be able to lock the decay rate. So we're going to do a new scan. We're going to do a value between. We're going to do a float. And uh, we're going to do... Um, we're, going to, we're going to lock our 999 stack in. So it looks like it's somewhere between, I don't know, we're, we're going to say 50 and 70. So we'll do 50 and 70. All right. Now, it, I don't know the exact decay rate, and I will post an updated one once we figure that out. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do a decreased value because we got too many results. So what we want to do is we want to hold our cursor on the edge here. And as soon as it moves, it's decreased. So it looks like it's moved, so it's decreased. Now, it's a small amount, but it's a fast time. There's a, there's a huge, not a very big gap of when these start decaying. Let's see it decayed again. So now we're going to do just a decreased value. And it dropped it down a lot. We'll come back over here. It decreased again, so we'll do a decreased value. Decreased again, so we'll do a decreased value. Now we're, we're getting closer. Decreased again. Decreased again. Now once we get into a smaller range, we can start looking for it a little bit easier. So we're going to be looking for the 7FF42CEs. And I apparently must have missed it somewhere. Because I don't see it at all. So 
So, and then this is just process of elimination. You got to redo it. So now we're looking at, it's about 50% now. So we'll do a flow, obviously. We're going to do a value between, and we'll do 40, 60. We're just gonna we're just gonna try this. Try and narrow it down this way so we can knock out some of this crap that keeps happening. Let's drop it down to 40, 50. How about that? Not helping at all. All right, let's do a decrease value. Six hundred twenty. It's still a lot, but we know that basically what our address is, so we should be able to get it from here. Forty-two C. E C I think that's it right there. So now we want to take this one and to test it out we'll just set it to 100 and see what happens. Boom, that was it. So now we're back up to 100%. Now you can lock this one in. You lock that one in, the decay rate will never drop below 99%. And that is all I have for you today. Good luck. Um once I figure out how to dupe the items, the other items, I will definitely post it. But for now, that's how to bypass the vegetable decay rates. All right. Good luck, guys.